we are heading to Nicole Diani's house, who on Instagram is Nicole's Kitchen. And she's into kind of helping us learn how to make healthy foods. And I thought it would be really cool if we did a collab where we got her input and my input on how to make a great face mask, hair mask. Growing up in Iran and when we first moved here, my mom always used to do this concoction of things where she would mix them together and make her own DIY face masks and sleep in these hair masks. And it really does work. I do them, I don't know, not as often as I should, probably once a year, but I should be doing it once a month. So hopefully this will motivate me to actually keep up with all the tricks of the home mother country. Let's head over. All right, we got all of our stuff except for avocados. Okay, let's get all our stuff together. Put this in here. Single ladies, I can't hear y'all. Single ladies, make noise. Single ladies, I can't hear y'all. Make noise. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Teddy wants to dance too. Dance, Teddy. As you can see, we're with Nicole Diani in Nicole's kitchen, which is amazing and goals in itself. But today we wanted to talk about and show you guys a great hair mask that our parents used to do for us and for themselves. Honestly, I hated it and I would make fun of my mom. Me too. Honestly, I would run away. She'd come with like a jar of all these ingredients and I was like hiding under the table. <laughs> so I made sure to get all of the ingredients from Costco because that just makes it more affordable. You can use it in your house for other reasons as well. But um, I like to put honey in there. Honey's antibacterial um, and so I just stick it in there if you're having any sort of scalp issues. Um, it's a great ingredient for face masks too. Super fatty, real mayonnaise. Big, big ingredient, uh, lots of hydration there. Uh, some olive oil. We gotta throw in some coconut oil or else you're just not LA if you're not putting coconut oil in there. <laughs> That's true. And then avocado and actually, in the morning, if you're making egg white for yourself, save the yolk because that's the part that you want. That's the part with a lot of cholesterol and a lot of good fat for your hair. So, some eggs as well. So, should we get started? And that's good. All right, started. let's start mixing it all up. All right, so we're gonna have Nicole cut the avocado. And having been on call for the emergency room more than a thousand times in my life, I will let you know. Cutting an avocado or a bagel is the most common reason for hand lacerations. So Nicole, That's crazy. I bless this avocado. Thank you. Don't cut yourself. Okay. While she does the avocado, I'm going to be getting our egg yolk ready. This is so not me, you guys. I'm so not domestic. I need to come take Nicole's classes. Because I would love to have you. I legit do not know. But you know what? Surgery is art, so it I'm is pretty no, sure you'd be good at cooking. That's, that's the same thing, but... Um, here, we'll get those on, throw the yolk in there. It's not that I can't do it, it's that I don't have the time to do it. So if we can learn something quick, this is true. That's, that's where the key is, I think, for working women. So how do you recommend um, storing it if there's extra, you know? You know, um, I, if there's extra, extra, that's when I literally like chase down my, my daughter. Because I don't like to store it. I guess history repeats itself. <laughs> exactly. The trauma. Yes. No, but it really is good for you. It is good for you. Yeah. It is good for you. Your hair will be silky smooth. Maybe you can give us a recipe with egg whites. What's your favorite? Because we are going to have all these egg whites. That's true. Um, like a food recipe? Yeah. Okay, maybe you can do like a frittata. How do you um, do a so frittata? You, have, you know, you can use four egg whites. Mm -hmm. um, you can use two tablespoons of chopped dill, mm -hmm. maybe one scallion. 
um, two tablespoons of milk, I would use 1%, salt, pepper, whisk it up, and do like a simple herb and scallion frittata. Do you have the stuff to make a frittata? I do. Why, why don't we? Why don't you show us how to make a frittata while I mix all the stuff up? Okay. Because we need to blend these two worlds together. Here. Okay, let's do it. All right, you grab your frittata right. stuff. Because I'm hungry. I don't know about you guys, but I figure let's let's get a twofer. Let's learn how to make a frittata and a hair mask. And who knows? One. We might inspire you. Okay, so I'm not a measurer because if you told me like you have to measure this and measure that, I'm gonna be like, peace, I'm not gonna do this. So I'm just throwing the stuff in there just like mama did it. This is, you know, a little bit of, a little bit of this. You can't go wrong, you know? Let me not break things. If it was my own home, I wouldn't care, but it's not my own home. All right, so a little bit of that. A little bit of this. I just like the consistency of avocado. I mean, of mayonnaise. I don't know. I know it's not that great for you to eat, but it's so darn good. Of course it is. Of course it's good. It's all fat. All right. I'm gonna get a good chunk of the mayo because God knows I'm not eating it because we're in LA and you gotta keep up. All right, good chunk of avocado, good chunk of mayo. Let's get a little honey in there. Oh my God, it's not even open. I have to open it, hold on. Let's get the mayo off of this. If you, did you know that if you ever stuck on a mountain and you cut yourself? <laughs> Honey is honey. what you want to put in there. Oh, really? Yeah, because it kills bacteria. Do you I know, know it kills bacteria? No, can you tell me? Let me tell you. You teach me how to make a frittata and I will tell you. you so, right perfect. So she's prepping. What is that? Um, this is called a scallion. This is what we beat each other up with on Passover. Passover. Yeah, it hurts. Yes. I'm always left with bruises because of this stupid onion. I like to literally pad my clothes and never wear white on Passover because the scallion will stain you. Sure. But anyway, back to the honey. So the honey is so concentrated that it sucks all of the water out of the bacteria and they die. Oh wow, really? Yeah. Interesting. Because you know water diffuses across. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. And so that's how it kills bacteria. So if you ever burn yourself and you're up in a mountain, it's good to know. Always carry honey. Like Always carry honey. <laughs> all right. So she's chopping up the scallions like a total professional. I look like a. <laughs> You look professional wow. too, honestly. No, you don't. Nazarian's Kitchen, we're back. What did I call it before, Laura? Cooking with Nazarian. <laughs> All right, so we got the scallions and they are chopped. So here we, we're back to the um, egg yolks because we don't like to waste. There's whites. Egg whites. Egg Oops. whites. Yolks in here from our hair. Yes. Um, so here goes the um, parsley. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, so in goes the scallions. Clean up to waste. Then we have some um, pre chopped dill that I've already chopped up. And then I have this is my favorite everything salt. It has like a little bit of rosemary, thyme, garlic, black pepper. So just a little bit. And about two tablespoons of egg, I mean of milk. This helps it become fluffy. So one, two. And black pepper. Ooh, ooh, I like black pepper. Okay, I never can have too much. <laughs> Love it. Okay. That's it. We're gonna add it on a saute pan with a little bit of avocado oil, and it's gonna take about four minutes of cook time. Smells there so you good. have it. Okay. <laughs> so why don't we put that to cook? And while we're doing that, why don't we stick the stuff on our head? Yes, you heard it right. I'm not gonna let it go to waste. Mama doesn't have time to do this stuff, so I'm just gonna stick it in my hair and probably make a mess of myself. But <laughs> I need it. Like Mama's hair is dry. All right, so we're gonna put this stuff in my hair. Okay, let me know if you need any help. Okay, you make the frittata. Okay, I take my ring off. All right, it's I'm about to go over. down and take my ring off. Okay. <laughs> this is so gross, but it's really good for you, so I'm gonna do it. I just grab it. Last little 
little bit, you guys. I really like to get it into the scalp. Don't want to let it go to waste at all. I want to make sure you reach like, because the scalp needs moisture too. I literally don't let any of it go to waste. All right, so this is the last bit. I started to get all the pieces together. And I make it into a super sexy bun. But honestly, you don't even need to clip it. Like, it'll just stay because it's gooey. So I'm gonna rinse my hands and then we're gonna cover it up with one of those shower head caps that you steal from the hotel when you travel. All right guys, so here's my one time use shower cap. We're gonna put it on. How do I look darling? I feel super, I feel super hot right now. It don't get better than this. So I'm just gonna let that percolate in there with the moisture and the heat of my head. And honestly, the longer you can leave it on, the better. But I would say minimum four hours. If you can sleep with it, definitely put a towel on your pillow or else it'll get messed up. Um, but that's basically it. That's your DIY hair mask. And I'm going to enjoy the fruits of my labors after my shower. Literally, I'm going to put my hands in. It's going to feel like so soft. It's great. So once a month is what I recommend with this hair mask. And I know you're going to love your hair afterwards just as much as I do. And our frittata is ready! And so I like to put something acidic on top of our dish. So here we have it. So you put a little lemon with the cabbage. Lemon, olive oil, cabbage, olive oil, salt, pepper. And that's it. Enjoy! Thank you for coming today. Thank you. But we have to taste it together. Yeah. All right, we're gonna give this a go. I feel so... I hope you like it. I'm so hungry. And it smells really good. Oh my god. It's the thing on top that just makes it. I'm sorry. It's that lemony goodness. So Nicole gives cooking classes um, some nights, but mostly during the day. And she will teach you and your friends or her husband, anybody, anybody, your, your daughter, if you're into that Cinderella type of thing, to cook. And it's super easy stuff, super quick stuff, healthy. Right? Yeah, of course. Five ingredients or less. My husband, if you're watching this, don't get excited because I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, if you want to see more videos like this when I'm looking super sexy, subscribe and let us know your comments below on what you'd like to see next.